Marriage and divorce among Muslims in Uganda are conducted under the Mohammedan Act. The law is in line with the Islamic customs and traditions observed by most Muslims across the world. Marriage is highly recommended in Islam, and most believers are urged to officially tie the knot. <laughs> Islamic teachings call on Muslims to conduct formal marriages known as nikah. After the celebration, the marriage has to be registered at the Uganda Registration Services Bureau within a month for it to be recognized as a legal union by the government. You see, when your children, when your marriage is registered, we know Mr. and the Mrs. and the children are proving we, because they will have a birth certificate indicating who and who. It's very easy to trace backwards, even when in your absence. When it is not registered, we only have a name of a supposed mother and the name of a supposed what? Father. And so we end up spending 500,000 per child on DNA. The Sharia law allows Muslim men to marry up to four women. Omusaje no Muslim, a Kiriziwa, Okuasa Ababidi, Abasatu, Abana. To Kanga, the name song, Matiza, Nanobu Sobozi, Weburi, Obu Sobozi, Wokubala Bidida, Nobu Sobozi, Wen Gediendela, just singing the Pogera, Wano, Ngamundaba. Marriages in Islam are supposed to be full of mercy, compassion and love, but not all of them end up that way. In case the marriage fails, Muslim couples are allowed to divorce. Rim Muhammad is a Sudanese woman who has been married to a Ugandan Muslim for 10 years. But their marriage has been a rough one and she has decided to divorce. Like now my case, I came to Supreme Muslim Council to, to settle it legally. The other days they leave home, which is bad. Uh, in Islam, they saw the uh, Zawaj who are Ishar in Arabic in my and in group of people they should know that you have divorced, you are separated with this man. Divorce, or talaq as it's called in Arabic, is permitted as a last resort, but there are procedures that have to be followed before the couple are allowed to go their separate ways. The grounds of divorce, Rwachi umutu yali agadafnechi, Afune divorce. Bozi nyonyo lo bulungi. Chikwe tagi sako. Okufuna marriage certificate. Osoka na utuwa photocopy ya marriage certificate. Photocopy ya marriage certificate uwa jireta. Netu manjanti ya. Obufumu boya galo kufamu. Walio ubademu. Mumateka. Nechi wanduko cha marriage certificate. A lot of our brothers. Muslim brothers. Actually. Leave their wives. They just separate. They don't process the divorce and they don't get the divorce certificate and then they go on and marry someone else so in islam remember we said sharia allows four wives in other words if i'm going to marry another wife i must be able to show that i divorced one so in case of inheritance in the case for instance of medical insurance in the case of mortgage or any of these things if you're flying out you know that in the for instance, Saudi Arabia, a lady cannot go for hijab unless she is accompanied by a close male relative. Close meaning father, brother, or husband. So you realize that if you have not had this marriage registered, or the divorce registered, and therefore the new marriage also registered, you will get a challenge, because then when you go to apply for the visa with your four wives, you say, no, 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 you don't have those wives. The government requires that all marriages and divorce be registered to enable it to get a sense of the structure of its population and also help it effectively resolve disputes that arise after the death of a spouse.